Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nickel Power Volume 1, Talk to Zero. Let's continue our cat story. Okay. Really? Sounds good. I'll take a look at it later. Is it the answer I'm looking for? <laughs> Meow, what's up? <laughs> She's getting a little clingy. <laughs> oh, I think she returned her senses. <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> okay, first off, how does one force a cat onto a. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to respond to any of this at all. It's kind of one of those. Well, you know what? How do you, how do you even force someone on your back? Unless you're like Donkey Kong, about to do it on a like, uh, what is it? A uh, ring out? I I don't know. I don't remember how to explain that. Hold up, hold up. Clearly, you you're stuck yourself on me, Chocolate. <laughs> She's so confused right now, it's hilarious. Yeah, exactly that. I think she's taking advantage of something here. Puzzled, she frantically tilted her left and right. Is she sick with some terrible disease? This just started happening mere seconds ago, though. Are you alright? You've been kind of out of it since we got back from our break. There she goes. Oh, she says she's fine. She's fine. I guess there's nothing wrong. It didn't seem like she was making any particular mistakes while working either. I'll think about things after observing her a bit more. I thought about it as I watched her head back. I think someone's getting a little, uh, lovey-dovey. <laughs> I guess it's fine, though. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I know what's going on here. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Oh wait, the w that window there is the see-through. Interesting. Oh, Chocola, what's wrong? literally just told yourself like seven seconds ago. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know what's going on here. <laughs> You're telling me. Chuck was spaced out as she tilted her head in confusion again. It didn't seem like she was doing it on purpose. I wonder what's going into her. It was clear that she wasn't herself. Somehow she looks a bit flushed too. I'm just gonna feel your forehead here, okay? touched her small forehead. Her body shivered with a twitch. I could feel chocolate shivering slightly through the palm of my hand. It didn't particularly seem like she had a fever or anything. I think Cinnamon's starting to rub off on her a little bit. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding now. She's probably getting really, really lovey-dovey with her. Then again, I guess that last scene we just had when they were in the park was a little deep. I wouldn't say too deep, but not as deep as it was that one episode, but pretty deep enough. Chocolate? Yep, there we go again. She, I'm like so confused with what she's doing. I don't have a cat, so if this is like something a cat does, I'm not sure what they're doing. My assumption is she's like slightly like in love with him. <laughs> Which is fine, it makes sense. It kind of grew up with him. Wait, chocolate? Hey. Out of that, <laughs> out of that, we took a uh, catnip bath, and she's been going nuts to it. Although Vanilla would have noticed by now. She cooed in a sweet voice I hadn't heard before. Still clinging to me, she rubbed her cheek against mine. Really purring. It was clear that she wasn't feeling like herself. Her voice was especially sugary sweet. That's a way to describe that. Sugary sweet. You could even say that there was a stickiness to it. Alright, come on now. <laughs> stickiness. You're kind of stretching it there with the descriptive, uh, descriptive adjectives there. Her grip on my back tightened. I could feel a certain degree of sensuality in her actions. I'm glad I didn't say sexuality. My god. I almost did. I almost, almost misread it, but in my mind I knew it was not that. <laughs> it's like she's having one of those moments where she's like in her trance and then that happens. And when that happens, she's like, huh, huh, where am I? <laughs> she suddenly came to her senses and let go of me. She flutter her arms about as she howled in confusion. Vanilla, please! Nice assist, Vanilla! <laughs> That's clever. Taco's gonna bring out some more. <laughs> I think she's on it. Hey, Vanilla, do you know what's with chocolate? Or chocolate? She's acting weird today, right? I mean, it's clearly obvious to us here. <laughs> A breakthrough. This felt promising. By the way, I'm a bit curious, but do I smell strange or something? Normal. <laughs> right. No, no, it's more like a... Right. It was somewhat relieving to hear her say that I smelled normal. I didn't... I added, like, so many words to that sentence. But it works. Well, it meant that I didn't smell especially sweet or anything. Mel was drawn in by what I had said. It seemed as if she realized something. Either way, can you tell Chocolate to go to her room to rest? It's starting to calm down out there, so I'll take care of things afterwards. Oh boy. She's not having it. <laughs> Chocolate has been captured. Eviction mode, oof. <laughs> Just drag her. <laughs> I, love the, I love the animation for that, because it's almost like she's literally either, one, grabbing her by her, like, uh, abdomen and then lifting her and turning her sideways and then carrying her off like a staged comedy act gone wrong. Or she's grabbing her by the neck and just dragging her off the stage. <laughs> That's great. Uh, okay, with that fiasco handled. Oh, I don't say anything. It's just I should literally just say ellipses there for some reason. Let's see. 
This is more meat fit. I didn't never. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Surprisingly, Vanilla was the type who could ri rise to a challenge when necessary. I stood in front of the wide open refrigerator, and despite the distance, I could still hear the voices of my poster cat girls right behind me. <laughs> that was something, all right. You gonna get a splash image for this? Force clothing change mode activated. What are you, a robot, Vanilla? I mean, I know you're kind of deadpan but come on. You're not that robotic. Or you're not that deadpan to be a robot. Yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Oh, is she? She's not. Is she? Uh, time out here. Time, 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 time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Uh, should we leave the room here? I mean, I, I, I know there's the internet rule that cats fine too, but I, I'm not ready for this, man. I'm not ready for this. It's a little too early for that. Vanilla, please. Are you feeling any better, Chocolate? I entered the room at the wrong time. In before, I can never be a wife line comes in play. Huh? Uh, uh, really? Sorry about that. I didn't really get why, but she was pretty mad at me. I've never knocked on their doors before now, though. Besides, Chocolate would enter my room without knocking, too. Okay, well, I'll be sure to be careful next time, but more importantly, how are you feeling? I'd like to take you to the clinic, but do you feel up for walking there? I don't think it's what we are both- I don't think it's anything wrong, I think she's just in love. <laughs> We're close, we decided to close up early today. Did... 5pb, did you die at the sound booth? Where's the music? Or is this just being a tense moment, I guess? Do you think I could leave you be, uh, be when you're not feeling well? Just listen to me, let's go to the up to the clinic. Do you think you could stand? Oh, he's gonna touch her. And then, boom. What are you talking about? You look like you're about to fall over. I know where this is going. Come on, I'll give you a hand. I stood next to Chocolate and put my arm around her. <laughs> and Chocolate melted. I'm just kidding. What's wrong? Did I hurt you? Yeah, this is what I think it is. She slurred words as she refused my request. She was definitely acting a lot stranger than before. I enough of that now. I'm taking you to the clinic, okay? That's the whole reason why I decided to close the bakery today anyways. Come on now. There's so many misunderstandings right here, it's funny. She's really slurring her words. Oh my goodness. Rational? Hold back from your instincts? No, <laughs> pushed her face against Chocolate's body as she sniffed her. Yep, uh, there's the music. So it was a tense moment. You can't! <laughs> Necessary to, to say, Vanilla. Kane? You don't mean that mating season thing, right? Now that she's mentioned it, that was noted in the book I bought before. I thought that was still a bit too early for them, though. <laughs> yep, I, I was either thinking it was in love or it was mating season, that's why I was saying the joke about cinnamon. <laughs> Actually, I, I can't 
least say Cinnamon's been rubbing off on Chava because Cinnamon's just 24-7 in heat. <laughs> it must be a little too early for her then, though. Uh, please always be my friend side from here on out. I'm so happy when you're with me. Oh, wow. Flashback echo. I like that. Oh, and we probably disregarded that because we ran a bakery. I get it now. Since back then, huh? Situations when dealing with a fast maturing cat girl. I remembered that section in the book with a, inside the book that was titled that. Crap. <laughs> Shimata. <laughs> I thought that it was still too early to worry about stuff like that and totally glossed over it. This is what happens when you don't read. I'm just kidding. It happens. You get used to it. Experience is usually better than practice anyway. Don't look- don't read too much into that comment before anyone thinks about it. <laughs> well, just what should I do in a situation like this? <laughs> She's so sad. She looked at me with pained, tear-stained eyes. It was the look of a woman desperately pleading for help. Chocola. She had completely caught me off guard, and in an instant, my face began to redden. Nazui. <laughs> I... I could see that Chocola was not herself. My heartbeat began to start to slow down as it began to throb profusely. That sentence doesn't make too much sense, but okay, I'll, I'll allow it. Vanilla's like, alright, alright, break time. By let out, you mean vanilla? Then was right next to my ears as I looked over at her face. She didn't seem like one of her usual jokes. She was looking straight at me. I guess I really should have not, huh? <laughs> Express their love for each other physically. What unreserved in certain words. Also very blunt. I thought that I couldn't breathe. But no, pay no attention to me and continue to whisper into my ear. There's a meme in there, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to try my best to resist not editing that in. <laughs> well, you are right, but... Of course, I knew that there were always people like that. Like I said, a cat's fine too is an internet rule. I knew just how cute cat girls were, but I wasn't, so I wasn't one to judge them. But that being said... Oh, we got it. Okay. Well, of course, she's important to me. Chuck and Vanilla were important to irreplaceable members of the, my family. This wasn't a matter of liking or disliking them. That's why, in the current of all this. <laughs> forgotten? Oh, that line. Okay, from the from the deep episode. Okay. Vanilla. Her slender fingers crushed my cheek. They were the same words as before. And they pierced right through me again, just like back then. Vanilla is still upset. No, not vanilla. Chocolate is still upset. Chocolate. Just like back then. 
You could feel the determination behind Chocula's eyes and words. I gotta stop wanting to put. Oh my god. <laughs> I have like two trades of thought right now going. Of course, one is paying attention to the story and how serious it's getting, but the second one is the meme side of me that is, many of you already know that now was to put like Undertale all over this right now. Because <laughs> the word determination. <laughs> Chocula's gaze filled you with determination. Okay, no, stop. I, I made it. I already did it. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're moving. We're done. She gazed right at me. Yeah, that's quite true. Oh boy. Chocola. There's no like major emphasis on the name, so I can't really go like ch chocola, you know, like that on it. Um Do I need to press A? I don't know what just happened there. I returned her gaze as Chocolate took hot shallow breath, still caught in her bewilderment. Bewilderment, ugh. I gently placed my hand in her tear-stained cheek. I love you too, Chocolate. If you really desire to, then rather than deciding whether it's right or wrong, I'll be honest too. With those words as I vowed to her, I kissed her again. Wow. I was not expecting that, but... Vanilla is smiling in the back. Uh, it's, it's like the first time I've actually seen Vanilla smile, like, serious like that. She's usually too deadpan to really show it, but it's nice when she does show it. It's like the little small victories you get when you see Vanilla with her smile. Ah, that's right. I gently rubbed both the teary-eyed Chava and the proud Vanilla's heads. I then gently embraced both of them. I don't think we need to take her to her clinic anymore now, do we? Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, as much as I would like to continue and just stare at this CG, I'm going to have to end the episode here. So, hey guys, thanks for watching, and... <laughs> Look forward to more as I continue playing through Nickel Pair Volume 1. So, anyway, I will see you guys on the next video, Warstreet the Night 2. So, see you guys later.